Good morning, everyone. Today is June 1st, so summer is almost here. So I gotta source some more shorts. Anyways, I have some orders to pull for. The first one is a Poshmark order and it's AC017, 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 huh, I thought that was a recent one, AC017, okay, so AC017, that's Poshmark. Another Poshmark order is AE006. Let's see if I can get it from here. Uh, instead of going up on the, uh, here it is right here. AC006. And these are a pair of shorts. So we gotta source some more. Tomorrow I'm going to um, Goodwill. Uh, it's color tag sale. X014, and this is eBay. X014. Okay, I've had this one for a while, so this I know I paid a dollar. Okay, lastly is another eBay sale. It's AF013. Let's see if I can get it from here. AF013. Okay, it's up front. Thank goodness. So this, this um, I recently sourced. This was a, something that I sourced on Thursday. Okay, so let's get everything packing. It's June 1st. Mailman's going to be here in about 30 minutes. Now these over here are ready to post. I'm gonna be posting these today. Got those all ready to go. I posted these two um, this morning. Um, so that's, so I got five more to post. Five more to post because my goal is to post seven a day. I used to post five to six. Now I'm doing a minimum of seven. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to get some more inventory which is good because I do need more inventory. These sold on Poshmark, and these are the brand Universal Thread, and they're a pair of shorts, long shorts. I wouldn't have picked them up unless they said high-rise Bermuda. So these are saying they're Bermuda shorts. Otherwise, they may look like somebody just, you know, cut a pair of long pants. So. These sold on Poshmark, so these are ready to go. They're going all the way to Kentucky. So, yes, I do need to get more shorts because summer is just around the corner. And um, I want to be ready. So, more shorts, more capris. <laughs> more tank tops, maybe more t-shirts, um, more patterns. Um, like these these pants that I'm going to post today These are pattern pants. So I, I'm thinking these these are going to go really quick um, For for summer for vacation. They, they say like vacation <laughs> A cruise or something. So yes um, so yeah, these sold on Poshmark and I accepted an offer on these and I'll put the pricing up top. And um, I didn't have to give a discount on shipping. So I just accepted the offer and paid the Poshmark fee. So, yep. That's always nice, you know. You gotta, when you price your items, you wanna leave some room there for, for offers to likers. You know, and that's on all platforms, all three platforms that I post on. Um, and then I had another sale on Poshmark that 
came in really low and it was expected and I'm going to show you that right now. And sometimes you just want to re recoup your money, you know. <laughs> just get your money back <laughs> because of some uh, of a small little mistake. So I'm going to show you that right now. That's the next. So I, on this, I want to put some extra uh, tape on this because the adhesive is not too strong. And um, yeah, I, I ship every single day except Sundays because there is no mail in my area. If there was, I would probably ship on, on Sundays. So yeah, for the most part, I do not ship on Sundays, just six days a week. Okay, so these sold on on Poshmark, and these are Capri pants here. They got the um, the little slit here on the side, and I didn't notice that they have a a stain here. And I knew these would sell because they're time and true. They're a size medium. I've probably sold almost ten of these since I've been a reseller. These are excellent condition other than that stain right there. So I priced them really low and somebody came in with, with an even lower offer. So I went ahead and accepted it. I was able to recoup my money at plus six cents. So, <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, so they're, they're going out and I just need to be more, you know, look the items over. Uh, usually, uh, I, I will not post something like this, but I know that the, the rest of the pants were fine, and some people are really good at, at taking out stains, and for me, I, that, I'm not one of them. So I did try, I washed them, I let them, I let uh, I put a stain remover on them and let them sit for a while and it, it just didn't come off so I'm not sure what it is but some people are stain removal experts and so they they're, they went ahead and bought them and which is great and and I was able to recoup my money plus six cents like I said which isn't much but yes. Um, I, I would I do that again no no I would not I would not do that again it was that is not profitable me for me and I really don't uh, I want everything to move quickly so projects are not for me uh, I will note it but for the most part I will just not list it so. I just want to make sure, and, and this person knew I took pictures of it, of the stain. I also um, put the stain in the description, I, and I also let them know to, you know, to look at the stain. So, yes. So they made that decision to purchase them, and I'm happy they did. And it's funny because I just posted them. They hadn't been posted for very long, so... Off they go. So this is um, an eBay sale, and these are Bondolino denim jeans, women's size 16, capri blue, flap button pockets. So you see the pockets right there. I'm going to take them out so you can see them. And these are capri. These have not been listed very long. Um, they're the by the brand Bandolino Blue. They got the little slits on the side, the two button closure here, the nice pockets. So these sold very quickly. I didn't price them too high, you know. I, um, I maybe I should have, but <laughs> but these sold very quickly. They didn't ask for a discount. They just sold so. Off they go, and where are they going to? Uh, Minnesota. So, I love the the capris with the button flap uh, pockets. They're really cute, and I think a lot of women love them. So I, I want to put that in the, the description up top. 
Sometimes I do um, post the picture of the pockets, the back of the jeans in the, the first picture. Uh, I don't think I did in this case. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't re recall, but yes, yeah, sometimes I do. If not, I, I do put it in the description to make sure that they know and they can go through the pocket. But sometimes they just look at the, the title, you know, and see what the title says. And if you put, you know, that they're button um, flat pockets, that, that might be something that they're looking at. You don't click on it and open it up and, and look at it in more detail, and that might close the sale for you. So it's important for me uh, to make sure that I use all 80 characters in the titles, making sure. And it's 80 characters for all three platforms, Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. So I just copy and paste. I don't use a virtual assistant or anything like that. Maybe in the future I will, but, but now, no, I don't. Next, these been sitting for a little while. I can tell by the packaging, which I'm going to change because that's kind of heavy. Um, these are American Eagle Outfitters women's size four light wash denim cropped jeans. Um, four pockets. So I did pour four pockets, and these are really cute. They're different. They're unique. Um, they did have the flat pockets, but uh, let's see. I did not put that because there wasn't enough room. Um, I think these are cute. They're going out today. I've had them for a while. Um, I don't know. Um, probably I'd probably pick these up during the colder months because I know I did only pay a dollar for these and they are going to South Carolina all the way to South Carolina I'm gonna put it this way because we need it to be narrow to get in this um, in this envelope padded flat break envelope and the customer um, pays shipping in this case, they paid $7.76 for shipping, and they will get their item in three days. It says three days. So, yeah, I, I charge shipping for all the customers because um, shipping it for free, um, I'm not that big and my items are not don't sell for that high of an amount that w w would you know be okay for me to you know pay the shipping as well um, so this they got a they did get a discount on shipping because eBay charges me eight dollars and twenty cents for shipping so in this case they paid um, 776 so they did get a discount a little bit of a discount which is good because I've had these for a while and the um, price of shipping has gone up since since I put it in the system so I might need to go in there and change everything because some of them are set for seven dollars when when it's actually charging me eight dollars and twenty cents so I might go in there and change them Okay, so we are set here. I um, want to make sure it's nice and sealed. Let me see if I got any orders um, to ship. And let's see, Poshmark. I still have um, four people on eBay. No, actually three people on eBay that um, haven't paid us. Uh, it's still waiting for payment. So it's, yep, three, three of them waiting for payment. So I think tomorrow starts the first day where I can um, cancel the order. That way it gets relisted and I can relist it back on Poshmark and Macari. That way it just doesn't stay in limbo. So we got four orders today, two to eBay and to Poshmark going out this morning. I'm going to Goodwill tomorrow, but I will do another video tomorrow showing you what sells tonight. Thank you so much for watching.